Guten Morgen, bonjour, buenos dias, dobre rano. 51 practitioners from 12 countries from all over the world. Welcome. You almost cannot teach rolfing because you're everlastingly dealing with something that is as uncertain as a waterbed. This is the problem, to get secure in an art in which there is no security. Your security comes only from relationships. Nowhere in our educational system that I know of at the moment, perhaps, perhaps in some very esoteric order, are there places where they teach you to live on practices which are completely insecure. I encourage you to team up with practitioners from a different school than you yourself come from. Risk leaving your comfort zone, risk the insecurity again. Every one of these schools has something slightly different to offer, has a slightly different emphasis on our work. The ultimate security doesn't and cannot exist in any of them. Like the schools have different emphases, our three teachers that will teach this workshop this weekend has also added to structural integration their own personal explorations. They all started off nearly at the same time, give or take a couple of years, about 40 plus years ago. Neil Powers has been teaching basic and advanced trainings nearly every year for decades. His topic of discussion during those three days will be the third hour as a paradigm for a single post-10 sessions of structural integration. The third hour sometimes found puzzling to the young practitioner and often adored by those who have started uncovering its secrets. Sharon. Sharon Wheeler told me that she still works the basic 10 series with new clients. When I asked her if she could come to Prague and teach an 8th and ninth hour weekend for us, she hesitated for a moment and then answered, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't think so. It wouldn't be as basic as you would like it. I would add other stuff. But what the other stuff is, she will explore with you this weekend. Sharon started expanding her investigation of the fascial layer of the body in two opposing directions. One more towards the outside of the body, towards our injuries and scars, and the other direction exactly in the other way towards the bones. She will give you an introduction to both aspects of her work. I don't really have to introduce Robert Schleip, but he has pursued a path which I would never have chosen myself. But I'm eternally grateful there is someone within our SI community who does what Robert does, staring at fascia through a microscope, adding messenger substances and documenting what happens. I would go nuts. And I suspect that Robert will probably lead us into a completely different level of insecurity regarding our work. So with Robert, we will have the insecurity within the insecurity. In the tradition uh, that I was taught at the Guild for Structural Integration, we used to, for every class, we used to do a, a circle. And, and we've carried on this tradition in the Czech Republic, so we always do a circle before class. Now, I've never done this with 60 people, but we're going to try it now. For those of you who are not used to this, this is not because we're a cult. This is just a moment of concentration on your own body and your own line and a minute two of meditation uh, along that. So how this works, there is a point we're going to hold hands in a circle and I'm going to at some point squeeze the hand of the person next to me who's going to pass it on around the circle. The risk is if somebody doesn't pass on the signal, we're going to be here three days from now, okay?